Hey, thanks for tuning in to this episode of the EV Show. Today, we've got a really special build for you guys, something that's a little bit out of the box. I'm here with my longtime friend, Roger Hickey. We've known each other for the better part of three decades now. Forever. And we've been talking about this project for a while and finally uh, got organized enough to start it this year. We are very happy to introduce to you the Electroliner. This is our Bonneville Land Speed car. We're uh, the start of the chassis right here. And this August 2020, during Speed Week, we are going to go for a land speed record in this car. So follow us, watch the build, and have fun and tag along. So there's three classes. We have E1, right. which is 1,100 pounds or less. 1050 or less. Right. Yeah. So we're between the 1,100 and 2,200, which right. is really 500 and 1,000 kilograms. We're going to stay in Freedom units. So uh, we can build this. It has to weigh more than 1,100 and right. less than 2,200. Right. Right. Which we should easily do. Right. And we think we're going to be kind of on the low side of that. Right. Which we want like, to be. Um, we're going to be a little... 5,000 9 volt batteries. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Energizers. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually, and this is great because Roger and I have fun with this stuff. Um, notoriously, EV West is very open book. We show all the details of the build. We'll tell you exactly the details of the battery, the motor, etc. Since this is a Bonneville car, uh, we're going to be tight lipped. Yeah. Roger's taught me to be a little bit more tight lipped. So we're going to keep some of the details. Um, we're not going to suppress them forever, but at least until after Speed Week. We're going to keep some of those details, so uh, battery details, power details, traction control, things like that. We're going to keep quiet until afterwards. Um, I'm glad you quit inviting the competitors over to see our build. Yeah, right. <laughs> Publishing documents yeah, for them yeah, and yeah. everything. Send them, send them the I mean, look, we really want you guys to build your own car, and we're hoping that this inspires you to go out and do something. Roger and I identified an electric record that's fairly low. It's sitting at 214, 213 miles an hour right now. Based on our calculations, we think we can best that. So we're, we're really going for an E2 class record this year. And uh, it's, in our opinion, it's wide open. So uh, come join us, go build an electric uh, land speed car yeah. and um, you know, revive the salt flats in this new era of electric drives. Yeah. Back to work! <laughs> By using a computer design, we can take the body and have Roger work on that, while here in our shop, we're gonna get started with the chassis. We got Johnny a big pile of 4130 Chrome Molly and a couple of CAD files and let him loose. This is the frame fixture bench. Um, it looks pretty crude, but it's actually pretty square, pretty straight. Um, and this is what we're using to build the base of the car, or the whole car, it gets everything perfectly straight, level, square and everything. I can pull measurements from any one of these points and get my tubing perfectly square and uh, I'll make a straight car go straight. The test fitting of the land speed car. <laughs> And this is pretty much how it works. Almost in there. Maybe okay. like this. Battery, motor, parachute. Go, spin, stop. <laughs> in situ now so what they're going to do is they're actually going to bend the tubing just really tight over the motor basically in a way that would be uh, really almost impossible to remove the motor without it and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a removable part of the cage that will allow us to service the motor 
This is the most critical part though because the measurements are so critical to get the, the alignment of the rear tubes uh, just dead perfect because it's foundation for the rest of the chassis to be built off of. So we got another little update for you for the Electroliner project. It's a real big day here at the shop. We, uh, we got our body in. So uh, the body has been being manufactured up in the Los Angeles area. Roger's been working on the body part of the project. been down here at EV West taking care of the chassis and today's the first day we actually just got the body delivered so we're mating the chassis to the body for the first time so this is a really exciting moment and we have the chassis in there on the gantry crane we're gonna go ahead and lift it up and now we're gonna bring in the bottom half of the body we're gonna mount that to the chassis and that will allow us to bring in the top half and clamshell it in when we mount it. that way we can do all the fitment and everything like that with the bottom half of the car on and while we're running the car, the bottom half will never come off. We're just going to service the car through the top half and uh, patch that Roger's making. So um, just a quick little update. We're going to get to work here. So we'll show you some footage of us actually fitting the chassis into the body and just kind of finalizing the actual placement. We need to register exactly where the body's going to be in relation to the chassis so we can cut our hatch and do some of that work. Um, but real exciting day here at the shop today. Huge progress step for the Electroliner project. And uh, I mean, the guys in the background even, aren't even stopping for the camera work right now. And uh, so basically, in yeah. short, what Michael just said is the zoom zoom just got slippery. Yeah. <laughs> Driver. Driver <laughs> words, right? Got the chassis installed in the body half and we put the top on and had good fitment. We immediately took the body back up to Orange County to finish the glass work, the cockpit hatch and get the painting done. Ooh, that's right. All right. We're here with Johnny. He's welding up the rear end. Our rear suspension on this is a little, well, it's really traditional, but you don't see it a lot these days. It's called a Davion axle. And what that allows is it, it actually acts like uh, a solid axle, but it allows us to use our independent half shafts going out to each wheel that's endemic with the uh, Tesla unit. So we're kind of doing something a little unique here. It's built up. It's kind of like a trailing arm setup, like it would be an independent. But we link them together and that makes it a day to own. So if one side goes up, the other side goes up. We're only going to need about an inch of travel. So uh, there's not much compliance in the system, just a little bit. Uh, but it should be enough for the flat conditions of the salt flats. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful billet wheel. I've already touched it all up with my fingers. Fantastic. These are going on the front. This came from Whole Shot. They're doing our front wheels. And uh, thanks to the guys at Rocket Racing Wheels that did our rear wheels on the car. Hey, just a quick note, I know it's a little tough to hear me. We got the TIG running in the background. We got a lot of guys working and I'm not wearing a lav mic, I apologize. We wanted to get you guys EV show updates uh, without them taking so long. And so we decided to go against the editing program with the multiple audio tracks, the lav mics and all that. And we're actually editing this on an iPhone, hoping that we can get you content quicker. And we're gonna drop a new video every Thursday. So for the guys, we're reading the comments. We really apologize. We know the audio quality isn't the best. But we're hoping that the content and the speed at which we can get, come out with videos makes up for it. All right, so the guys have started the fitment of our coolant tank. This is a five gallon tank. Because it's a, a streamliner, we don't have a radiator. There's no airflow coming through the car. So basically we're gonna rely on all of our cooling from a pre-chilled coolant tank. And it's about five gallons of coolant. We've got one pump on it. Uh, going right to the motor that sits right in front of it. So the entirety of the coolant system is going to be back here in the rear of the car. What are we doing? We are going to test fit uh, our driver into here. We've done about three, three test fits so far. Um, and one of the initial problems was he actually had to change his helmet. He's so tucked down at this angle that he was actually looking into the chin of his previous helmet. So he got another helmet made for land speed and now we're going to test fit our pilot our driver in the vehicle with 
his latest speed helmet. So anyways, here we are, five days left on our build. Um, we're about what, a month into this, really building hard. Um, but since we started, I think five weeks or something like that, five or six weeks into this. From the minute we, we started, started laying down cut foam yeah. to the minute on Thursday we're on the salt will be 90 days. 90 days. So building a Bonneville car in 90 days from cutting the foam yeah. body. The body got a little bit of a head start before the chassis. And, uh, and then now Willy Wonka couldn't even do that. <laughs> so anyways, here we are. Um, we're going to show you some more work on the car. Uh, show you some of the progress that got us to where we are right now and dialing in the cockpit and the safety stuff and right now we're doing seat belts and fitment Roger's down here and we're doing his helmet fitment and it's really really tight especially the foot controls so we're going to be doing some of that and getting the brake pedal and the throttle pedal installed um, but that's where we currently are we finished up the rear suspension it's completely done the cooling system in the rear is almost done um, so we're really getting there. The rear can sit under its own weight now. We're going to uh, mount our hubs. We've got to swap out our lug nuts. Um, the Bonneville rules require us a special stud and lug nut if we're going over 200 miles an hour. Yep. Um, and that's, that is a current update of where we're at. No looking proprietary, Switchy Box. Switchy Box proprietary! <laughs> Hi, it's Spicer and I'm here today with the Spice Rack or the battery pack for the Electro Liner. What we have here is our 3 16 aluminum box welded together by our friends at Bannister Metals. Uh, down here in the far corner, we have our diagnostic plug that allows us to remotely monitor battery voltages. We have our enable disable switch emergency kill. On the far end, we have our disconnect for our high voltage leads. Inside the box, we are going to have 294 of those Panasonic cells. Luckily, they're not individuals, they come in groups. cell modules. Once we get all the modules in, we're going to have a total of 357.7 nominal volts in this to make the electroliner go down the salt flats. So cranking away on the electroliner, we're doing electronics today and I uh, feel really lucky to have these gentlemen in the house. We've got Sam, we've got Lawson from AEM EV Controls. And uh, yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks for coming down, guys. Hey, um, we're just so happy. We've been chatting off camera and all that about AEM uh, electronics going into the EV market. And this is literally what we've been waiting on for years is somebody that has the competence and the wherewithal and the foresight to develop products for our market, which is actually developing as we speak. You know, So um, we've got a lot of functionality in the VCU 200 things like traction control and finite motor control and things that are going to be really, really beneficial in our land speed project. We're also running the telemetry system, so we'll yeah. be able to do all the logging. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and then of course display it on your super flexible CD7. And I've been playing with that in a lot of our road going projects for a while. Yeah. Yeah, and this is going to be fun because it's a you know, off-road race project and so you're going to be a little more creative with the screen. So um, I know we're going to get to work. We're excited to kind of dig into the harness and everything. Just wanted to grab you guys for a moment, introduce the AEM EV guys. These guys have really been instrumental in the project and we've got a lot more projects planned with them. So stay tuned for those as well. A lot of road going stuff. So um, you guys ready to get to work? Yeah, yeah sounds great. Good. Awesome, okay. It is worth it. All right, so I'm here with Eddie Borsowitz. You call him Testamino Eddie. <laughs> and we're working on our gear set. We just wanted to show you what we're doing. We're, like we mentioned, we're doing a 4.5 to 1 reduction. It's manufactured by Quake. And putting it in, we had some tolerance issues that Quaif notified us about, and also um, thanks to Chris over at Zero EV UK, he's been real helpful with this. And we got our, our main gears, our ring gears, we got those stone ground down a little bit. This morning? Yeah, just this morning. We just got them back from San Diego Crankshafts that did the stone grinding for us. And uh, Eddie's going to go ahead, he's got one ring gear already mounted on the differential. Okay. And we've got a second one, because everything that we're doing for this project, we're doing in duplicate, so we have backups. And uh, so I'm just going to let you add it. You're going to go ahead and put the differential back in the drive unit and put it back together. And then he's going to do it with our second backup unit as well. Yep. Going to get it cleaned up, put some RTD on it, seal it up, put it on a test bench, and uh, hopefully we won't hear anything weird come out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, what, 340 mile an hour wheel speed when we're done, right? So we're hoping to do that. Yeah. Go. Cool. So there it is, this is our big moment. The Bonneville Electroliner is finally sitting under her own weight and she looks really good. 
So you can see we've got a lot of work to do. We've got one week left. We've been working on it for about two months now and we got to hustle this last week, get everything buttoned up, get it in the trailer and on the way to Bonneville. This will be our last update before Bonneville. So be sure and follow us and check out all the action and wish us luck on our land speed record. Thanks and we'll see you next time.